Fucking Welcome terrible. back, everybody. We had to take a break to get a drink. Ooh, I should probably take the label off this shit. No, I do um, not make any money from these people. They just have really good shit to drink. Yeah, I'm not the sure. Will not come off. I'm not sure if these two videos will go out at the same time, but if you didn't see our previous video, I our will time. try to have an anna um part one. I will try to have a note up here. Um where the or here or there or there or there or <laughs> or anywhere around here <laughs> um, at a dance party pointing to shit that we haven't put up yet um so that you can click on it and go back and watch the first part because oh, it's just really cool. kind of it's kind of stream of consciousness and we're talking about our favorite things so yeah the last topic uh, was favorite books which we never really got to actually specifying what our favorite books were. <laughs> no, because it kind of evolved into like really why romance novels with same sex couples are terrible. And it just yeah. sort of. And then it got to talk about zombie penises. Yeah. Which... So, yeah, you might want to watch that if you want to know what the fuck that conversation happened. Yeah. Um, so, favorite books. Um, I really liked. The Hunger Games series. Mm. Um, I, I actually I really liked never the finished it. Well, the only thing I didn't like about them was the ending. The last two or three chapters, mm. it felt like she kind of phoned it in. Um, mm. I, I just I wasn't happy with the ending. Um, but as other than that, I mean, the series is very well done. Mm. Um, and then, as I said in the last video, I really like the House of Night series, mm. which just finished um, releasing the last book, I think, in December. Um, honestly, I haven't read a whole lot of books lately, because I'm picky about my books, and I haven't found any new... Um, I'm quite picky about my books as well, but in regards to books, I have found something recently. Um, I just can't remember the author. I, I can find it quite easily by typing in the book title. Let's see. The book title is called Jekyll Loves Hyde, and it's uh, it's a teen mystery uh, let me hold on. Uh, burr. Burr? Why did I say burr? I don't know. <laughs> um, it would be nice if they actually, like, gave me some kind of motherfucking thing. Anyways, Jekyll Love Hyde... What the fuck? Jekyll Loves Hyde is about two, two teenagers, obviously, blah, blah. <laughs> and it is by Beth Fantaski. That is... I swear to God, that's a pen name. It's gotta be, yeah. The splash page, or the splash cover jacket thing, whatever, said Jill Jekyll has always obeyed her parents' rules, especially the one about never opening the mysterious old box in her father's office. But when her dad is murdered and her college savings disappear, she's tempted to peek inside, as the contents might be the key to a lucrative chemistry scholarship. To improve her odds, Jill enlists the help of gorgeous, brooding Tristan Hyde, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, it goes on from there. I was I was kind of skeptical about it, but I love Jekyll and Hyde, and that's all, that the original story has always been one of my favorite stories. So I figured, fuck it, I'll check it out. See what I happened. Yeah. And I liked it. That sounds interesting, actually. I really like the classic um, And I got it in a hardback for, like, two bucks. The gothic horror, gothic romance kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, but it's, see, it's I, set in a modern day, which I thought right, was interesting. Which is nice. Um, mm. I really enjoy vampire novels. I do. Yes. I just do. I like seeing all the different interpretations, although I will say <sighs> Stephanie Meyer was on some serious crack when she, made, when she made some sparkly vampires. I swear to God. It was a cry now, for help. Don't get me wrong. I like the, books. the series. The books, the books are fun. good. The books are fine. I just question her judgment and her sobriety in terms of when she came up with the concept of Sparkly Vampire. And honestly, uh, it, honestly, in the books, the description she gave wasn't quite so terrible. But what they did when they translated it over into the movie form, ugh, it 
literally looked like my gay cousin Jeremy on prom night, broke into a glitter factory, covered in fucking glue, and just took a bath in one of the vats of gl- glitter. And this is... Mm, but this is how... More than just a ball. Also, <laughs> speaking of vampire books, Anne Rice's The Vampire Chronicles, Queen of the Damned is one of the best ones. Yeah, I mean, but actually, she came out with a new one in the series. Wait, what? Recently. She's... What? She's, She's writing back. vampire novels again? What? Yeah, she is. Um, I bought my mom. <gasps> my mom... For those of you who are new to the channel, I haven't talked about her before. Um, my mother is awesome. First of all, she is. Um, I haven't actually. She uh, is the one that got me into vampire novels and video games. Interesting topic for another day. Mm-hmm. Um, and the first vampire novels that she ever read were the Anne Rice Vampire Chronicles novels. Mm. So I have been on a mission over the years to get her a paperback copy of each one. Um, oh, and we got hardback copies. And recent, well, it started out hardback, but then she got to where she couldn't uh, hold up the hardbacks anymore. So Aww, I moved to paper. I'm sorry. Um, so, and it's actually recently I've started getting her the ebooks because those won't, you know, turn to dust in uh-huh. <laughs> 20 Although, years. With the shit that Amazon likes to pull, they might just up and fucking disappear. Yeah. Um, but I recently got her the new. Mm. Actually, for Christmas, real it's quick, real called... Quick, wait, 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 real quick. Interrupting, sorry, I'm sorry. Um, in regards to Amazon and Kindles and shit, keep your Wi-Fi off as much as you possibly fucking can. Really? Because that's how they get in your shit. That's how... And I, this isn't me being paranoid. This isn't me making shit up. There was literally reports and shit, and I found reviews and stuff... That the more often you leave your Wi-Fi on, the more likely shit would disappear from their kin- from people's Kindles, their books that they bought, or you know, and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, do continue. You got your mother. Um. So I recently got her the newest book in the series called Prince Lestat, which what? Which tells the next part of the story, and it's supposedly supposed to be part of a new set. Like a sequel set Dude, to the my original. my eyes are like saucers right now. You can't fucking see me, but I'm bugging. What? To the original, um, to the original Vampire Chronicles. Um, oh, and... oh, shit, son. Oh, evidence, so... evidence, evidence, evidence. <laughs> so I recently got her, I think I got it for her for Christmas, actually. Um, so it should be on Amazon now. I think I got it for like 15, maybe? It's not much. Fifteen for um, a fucking ebook? No. Oh. Okay. I th- actually, well, it was when it was new. Uh, excuse me. I got it for fifteen and it was new, so you might be able to actually get it on sale because mm. Amazon should be doing one of their summer book sale things soon. Mm. Okay, favorite. My turn for favorite books. <laughs> I think. Right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, one of my favorite, one of my, one of, I, I will say that one of my favorite book series of all time is definitely The Vampire Chronicles by Anne Rice. I didn't ever get to get very far in it because shit happened, life got difficult, I got thrown out of my house when I was, like, 18, blah, whatever. Um, one of the other favorite ones is definitely the House of Night series. Um, then there's also a book series called Night World. I know these, I, these are teen fictions. Yeah, I, I gotta admit, I read mostly young adult slash teen fiction because... <laughs> I'm not a fan of nonfiction, and I don't like nonfiction either myself. I find it to be very hard to keep focus on nonfiction because nonfiction is just boring. I would rather read fantasy and you know fantasy fiction and shit like that because hey, it's nice to escape this world. Exactly, world? and this brings me to an interesting point. Um, actually, before I think, forget about it. You can actually get the Vampire Chronicles books on Amazon mm-hmm. eBooks. Mm-hmm. I think you can get the older ones relatively cheaply too. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, so you may want to look into that. Um, but this brings me to an interesting point. <laughs> this, this brings me to an interesting point, though. I, I do not play... I do not play realistic, like, um, military-style or sports games. Fuck that shit. For the same reason that I do not read nonfiction books. Because when I do, when I play games or read books, I want to escape from every day. Exactly. 
I want to step into somebody else's shoes for a while and oh, yeah, kick, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like kick, and kick monster ass, or you know. <laughs> Speaking of kicking monster else. ass in games, why the fuck are you going to give me a goddamn fantasy game and then make it so that I can only be a human? In Mass Effect, in the Mass Effect, in the Mass Effect trilogy, I understand how that works, and I am okay with that. I'm okay with that. But in other games, like Dragon Age and what the fuck ever else, why are you going to purposely be a human? Especially with World of Warcraft, considering humans are shitty. Well, I like the way that Dragon Age does it. I do and too. for those of you who don't know, I am a huge Bioware fan. Bioware games are fucking awesome. Fuck yeah. And I'm a fan. Um, with Mass Effect, Dude, I'm hoping... Dude, this making me fucking cold. <laughs> I'm hoping... I'm hoping with Mass Effect and Andromeda, which, if you don't know about that yet... Um, you need to check, watch some E3 videos, YouTube. Yeah, check some E3 news, because that got... That got announced last week. Um, I'm hoping. I said with... YouTube like they're not already fucking watching us on YouTube. Whoa. Um, I'm hoping with Mass Effect Andromeda, you'll be able to pick the race of your. Uh, you might, but I don't. I, th- I don't count on it. I mean, even if it was just like human, Asari, and you know, Turian. You know, even if it was one of those three, yes. you know, I'm not really a fan of the Krogans very much. Ah, uh, I think ah, uh, yeah, they're ugly as fuck. I'm not gonna lie, they're ugly as fuck. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, I like Grunt. He was cute. Grunt, Grunt is adorable, and you know, uh, oh, what is the big motherfucker? Rex. Rex. I found Rex yeah. to be, you know, sweet once you actually got to know what the hell. Why <laughs> Twitter? Um, Who the fuck is Justine? I don't know you, bitch. Why you follow me? I have that problem all the time. People that I don't know, which I'm totally okay with that, because I'm trying to build a career here, people. Yeah, um, yeah. But it's but it's people who are not interested in anything that I tweet about. It, it's people it, following me. It's what bothers me is the people that only follow me because they think I'm gonna follow them back and give them more views. Yeah, and and, and when you do follow them back, they have those automatic d- direct messages, and it's like that literally will make me instantly unfollow you. And this actually goes back to our clickbait video, which was our first video. Um, yeah, check it out because it was awesome. Um, my eye, yeah, my eye is still fucking up. You know, don't just follow me, so I'll follow you back. Like exactly. That's just not cool. It's, it's really not. It's really not cool, and it's really obnoxious. Um. Okay, so favorite thing for books, yours is House of Night. Vampire Chronicles, correct? Um. House of Night, Hunger Games. Hunger Games. I am a fan of the Vampire Chronicles, although I'm not very far in them myself, <laughs> because I watched. <laughs> and this is a really convoluted path. I watched. The movies, Interview with the Vampire and Queen of the Damned, first. Stuart Townsend and Vincent fucking Perez. Honestly, I liked Tom Cruise as crazy as he is now. As was that better than I did Stuart Townsend. Um, No! 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 What? I just, he played the crazy Lestat so well. Yeah, but if you think about it, if you go and you, if you go and you like read, um, the Queen of the Damned, and then you watch Stuart Townsend play with that, he did the Brat Prince role very well. He did, yeah. I, I know, just, he, he, I, I feel that he did the cocky, bratty Prince role very well, very well, in my opinion. Um, but anyway, I watched those two, and then I went back and read Interview with the Vampire. Oh, I did. Which that. I, which I didn't realize. It's actually the second book. Um, <gasps> Sweet because, baby Hades, right? Because I skipped over without knowing it, the vampire Lestat. So when my mother discovered this, she said, "Oh, you need to go back and read the first one." Yeah. See, I never knew that the vampire Lestat was the first one. I always assumed it was a prequel, even up until just now when you just said something. Well, let me tell you. 
the reason that I stopped reading the series, mm. I couldn't get through uh, the Vampire Lestat. <laughs> I will admit the Vampire Lestat was definitely kind oh. of a, a... He is so fucking long-winded. Oh, God, there's a spider on me. There's a spider on my ceiling, and I don't like it because it's big. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the part of the video where Glitchy spazzes out over the spider of her ceiling. Seriously, if I actually showed you people, you people as in you viewers, don't fucking judge me for how I fucking talk. You're here for a reason, and you know how I talk already if you've seen the previous videos. But there, if I showed you my walls right now, you would literally see nothing but a fucking... Mass genocide of bug splatters every fucking where. I can already picture our audience going, You people, oh, I never. Why, well, I never. You did. You were here no. for a reason, bitch. But I, I couldn't get through the vampire of the stat. Okay, okay, it was okay. so slow. <laughs> the beginning of the book was so slow. I'm not gonna like, lie. The first half of the book is slow. I'm not gonna lie. The shit where. He and his mother start having like Ugh. relations, kind of. Yeah, I was just weird... like, I was reading that and I was like, um, it was that weird incest, but no uh, incest. Yeah, I know. Like, I know, I know. Dance, like dancing around it, but you know, it's there. You are Robocop and things. hold on, you are Robocop and like a motherfucker. Okay, try talking. Hello. Hello. Oh my god. Why Internet does it always start Robocop in like around right now? Internet connection problem. Oh, it went away. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, good. I'm not sure why it Robocops. You know um, what I miss? Those fucking Verizon commercials where he would do that all the time. <laughs> can you hear me now? Okay. Good. Good. <laughs> but yeah, um, I couldn't get through the vampire list yet. I got about to the part where... He becomes a vampire and then gets uh, his maker commits suicide, and by that point, I was already so done with the book I didn't. Continue. You, that's as like the, you what? That's as far I, as you got? Like wow. I, I stopped where it got, supposedly according to my mother, I stopped where it got starting to get good. Um, yeah, you did. Um, but I was so bored by that point that it was just like you know what, I'm gonna put this down and read it another day, and then I never went back. <laughs> Dude. Sorry, not sorry. Um, um, yeah, no, you should probably go back and try reading that now that you're older and. Yeah, I was like 13 when I read it. Oh god, that explains that, a whole hell of a lot. I was like 16. That, yeah, that's part of it. I was about 15, uh -huh. 16, and I know one of the main reasons I got through it was because I got suspended from school. Actually, no, I think I was oh, like 15 or 16. I think I was about 15 or 16 when I read it, but I was in the middle of reading, like, three other different series, oh, so, so, yeah, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go finish one of these other ones that I started. <laughs> um, and here, here's an interesting tidbit regarding favorite books, favorite genres in general. Mm -hmm. Vamp vampires and witches are my go-to. Mm. I Mine, really... vampires, witches, and werewolves. See, My I've cohort never... doesn't really care for werewolves, but I have a I... kink fetish thing and that's as far as I'm going into that. Well, that's the thing. I go through phases. I, I've got to be in the mood for the werewolves thing. Mm. Um, and, and if they're adapted in certain things... Like Penny and, Dreadful. Like Penny Dreadful. That's, um, we shouldn't get too detailed into that conversation. <sighs> we're going to have to... Fit. Ah, we're almost at the 20-minute mark, so that's a good thing. Yay, because I have to pee. <laughs> okay, well, um... Anyhow, vampires, witches, vampires, witches, that's usually my kind of go-to. Mm -hmm. um, so, do we want to do a part three for this? We're going to have to. Okay, well then, how about you guys stay tuned for part three? Um, subscribe! Thank you for watching, and subscribe.